Okay, uh, today we're going to take a look at the uh, Siemens logo uh, smart relay that uh, NEPSI uses uh, often for controls, controlling our uh, capacitor and filter banks. Um, this is a uh, what the main module looks like, and uh, there's different versions, but the newest version, the ones uh, we've been using for a couple of years now, uh, has an Ethernet port RJ45 connection, um, and it also has a port that receives uh, an SD card. An SD card. So that's what the module looks like, and we're going to take a look at that uh, as it's installed in one of our banks. So. This is typically what you'll see uh, uh, on our banks, a back panel with uh, relays and circuit breakers, terminal blocks, and of course the logo. And again, you have the main module and additional input-output modules that can be added as required. Uh, so one of the things we, we may want to do or the, you may need to do from time to time is uh, load a program on. Uh, our logos are pre-programmed from the factory and uh, it normally shouldn't need any uh, intervention but uh, there are occasions when you need to reload the program and to do that we supply a, an SD card with the program on it and that would be something we would mail to you typically. Um, you can also load the program in through the Ethernet port uh, via a laptop, but in general, you would call us, uh, we would send you a chip with the program on it. And I'm just going to open, remove this cover on the port, show you where the card goes. And it fits in this slot here. So in order to load a, a new program, you would have the chip set it in loosely, you would uh, hit the escape button, this one on the left, and it brings you to a menu, and the first item is stop. So you want to stop the current program that's running, if there is one, before you load the new program. So I'm going to say OK, and then it, you acknowledge the, what you just selected by saying yes, you scroll down to yes, press OK and it stops the program. So at this point, you can push the uh, SD card in all the way until it latches. And then we're going to scroll down to the line item that says card. And we're going to hit OK. And right now you have the option of loading the program from the logo onto the SD card or from the SD card onto the logo. In this case, of course, we want to load the program that's on the SD card. So we scroll down to that line item. It says card and it has an arrow and a, a pictorial of the logo. You got to make sure you get that right because if you overwrite the card then you've lost the program. So we're going from the card to the logo and I've selected that. I'm going to hit OK, and it wants you to acknowledge, make sure you really want to do that, yes or no, we're going to go to yes, press OK, and you can see it starts to load the program, the green light turns red, and they all turn green, and it's back to the main menu, so at this point, Let's remove that SD card. And we need to restart the program, the new program that's been loaded. So you scroll down to the start line item and press OK. And the program starts up. And it'll execute any startup commands that are uh, required. And at this point, it's fully functional and 
good to go. You done? Hmm?